Okay, everybody, welcome back. In our last tutorial, we created the master page for our application. So now we're going to create the index page for our application. So, first off, we're going to extend our master page. So, it extends layouts.master. Next, we're going to have our yield our section. So, section, not yield it, but create our section. So, section content. And we're going to stop our section, so that's stop. So here we're going to start off with h1 tag, which says all posts. Next, we're going to give the user a link to create a new post if there are no posts. Well, it doesn't really matter if there are posts, anybody. it'll be a link to add a new post. So we'll just say link to route. route and it's going to be posts dot create its value is going to be uh, add uh, new post okay next if there aren't any posts we're just going to return something that says there aren't any posts. But if there are posts, we need to uh, return, we're going to return a table to display those posts. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to throw, use the else statement uh, that's in blade. So we're going to start it off. I'm going to say if. We start this with the at symbol. So at if posts. And then we're going to count the posts. So count. If posts count, we're going to return a table. And this table is going to be a bootstrap table. So if you're not using bootstrap, you could use whatever you want to. But I'm using bootstrap. So table dot table striped dot table bordered dot table hover. Okay, we're going to start with our table, so T head, TR, TH uh, times 2. That shouldn't have done that, so start that over to TR and TH times 2. Actually, it's done 3. So we're going to do this one. I'm going to say author, title, and then we're going to need to add another uh, one of these for the body itself. So, body. Speaking of body, let's go ahead and do our table body. So, th body. Or t body, rather. My fault. And inside here, we're going to have a loop. We're going to loop through all of our posts and display the post's author, the post title, the post body. We're also going to display a link to show just that um, post. We're going to create a link to edit that post and we're going to create a link to delete that post. So let's get started with that. So we're going to say TD actually it's going to start off with for each And inside of our for each loop, we're going to say posts as a post tr and our td is going to be capitalized td time, uh, find here in a second, times six. So six of these. First one's going to be. Um, post author. And it's just going to coincide to what our head heading is going to be. So post author. Then it's going to be post title. And post body. Okay. 
So that's that. Next we're going to create a link to show just an individual post. So to do that we're going to say link to route. To route. And inside there we're going to say posts dot show with a value of show. We're going to pass in our ID, so array posts ID. And then another array for our class, so array class. This is for our button. Again, if you're not using Bootstrap, then you can ignore this. But button, and we're going to say button, uh, button primary. Okay. And our next one, we're going to create a link to edit this post. So link to route. I have it here, so we we'll link to route to be posts dot edit, and the value of the button is going to be edit. And again, we're going to pass through our ID, so array, and it's going to be posts. And we need to correct the other one above it to be singular, so post ID. This one needs to be post ID. Array with a class. I'm going to say button button dot uh, I'm going to say info. And lastly, we're going to destroy it. So to, in order to do that, we're going to create a form. So form open and it's just the form is just going to contain a submit button but there's some things we have to do first so array so the method of this form is going to be delete so array method let's delete and the route we're going to target Actually, the route we're going to pass through is posts. Actually, it's, it needs to be in an array. So, array posts dot uh, destroy. And we're going to destroy this, uh, this ID post with this ID, so this is post ID. Like that. So inside our form we're just going to have a button that says delete. So form submit. It can be a submit button or it could be a button, but we'll say delete. And we're going to just going to have a bootstrap array uh, class, so class button button danger and then we're going to close our auto form so form um, close that's it for that and we can come in here to below this T body actually go below this TR here and end our for each so end for each that will end our loop and then go below our body here our table our table itself here and say else and this is will be the else section of our uh, if else statement so if it doesn't have any posts we're simply going to say there are no posts and with that we can end our if so end if and stop it and we can go and check and see if that works and it does so add new post click that link and it'll take us to our create 
uh, function and there we go so in the next tutorial we'll go ahead and create our create um, blade template so stay tuned for that one